Hello guys and gals, this is Milky Way and today I'm going to uh, do something useful for once. So yeah, originally I didn't plan to build any farms around here, but yeah, since the mini minigames are a bit off on hold, work in progress, stuff that won't uh, work until 1.8 and all kinds of different gears, uh, I'm going to uh, build a little string farm and yeah for that we're going to use a double cave spider spawner which should be somewhere down there. I would really well I, I'd love to use like a triple quadruple or yeah even even bigger number of, of spawners but unfortunately uh, so far as far as I know we haven't found any on the server so uh, yeah I, I'm just going to dig down here hoping to hit the spawners relatively soon. They, they should really be pretty much below here. Oh look! <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's the two, two spawners I'm talking about. I found a uh, couple more double spawners, but yeah. Uh, to be honest, uh, these are the two uh, which are the closest together, so yeah. I guess we're going to stick with these. Let's build our... I, I have that over here. Okay, let's go up here and yeah, since they are really directly below here, I guess we can just set up a beacon up here and that should uh, pretty much uh, set us for uh, our uh, digging. We have to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. I hope I didn't miscount that. Okay, so we're setting up a beacon and then we're... Well, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with the... Uh, like in detail with the spawner, I have a general idea what I might want to be doing. It's, yeah, basically I... I I'm just want to set up to farm some string AFK, but yeah, we might also include uh, the, the option to farm some XP there. Although that's not, well, like a couple uh, spider spawner is not really that efficient of an XP source. Uh, it is somewhat nice to uh, be able to farm some uh, XP AFK, so I guess I'll, uh, I might put that option in. You will see how it goes. But yeah, I'm originally planning to uh, make the AFK spot on, on top of the spawners and then ha having them drop re real deep because in the version the server is in now the spiders can still track through the paste. Okay. The spiders can still track through the uh, opaque blocks so yeah I guess uh, it might be a good idea to just uh, stand on top of them so they just fall down a bunch and yeah I guess I should map out the area a bit. Let's actually put torches on all the sides of the spawners so we can dig the blocks around them and I well with the haste I should be very careful not to accidentally mine the spawners. So I, th I think what I'm doing is just getting all the blocks surrounding the spawners very carefully. And then I might even encase them in something. Uh, well, when I, if I encase them, then the, the torches won't really do anything. So, yeah, just better be careful around here. Yeah, so I guess uh, it's time for a little time lapse. I'll play you guys some music, and then you can watch me digging around.
All right, so I dug uh, a little bit down here. I don't even know how many blocks exactly it is, but we can just stay up higher in case we are uh, too close so they can track us. And yeah, uh, so the general idea here is that we flush them together somewhat like this. Okay, so this works pretty nicely already. And yeah, let's not uh, well, take an, uh, one of the rows out here. Oh, this is somewhat annoying with the ends of mine right now. But let's see. Reclaim the water for now. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, should be like this now. Does this seem correct? Little test. So yeah, that's that's perfect. And then uh, from here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And yeah, we pretty much do the same thing over here. And yeah, I, I'm just using stone bricks, so I know where a spawner is, so I don't ex accidentally mine into a cave spider spawner uh, when it's running. I mean, it's not like they are going to kill me, but yeah, better safe than sorry, I guess. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, and then it should like this, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that seems uh, correct. Okay, so we fill this here in with more stone brick. Stone brick. Yeah, I'm, I'm not watching my hotbar too much. I just assume that I get the right block and yeah, when the current stack runs empty, I will just place whatever I picked up in that spot with all the stone lying around here. Okay, seven and then... I guess we just try to flush them together in, yeah, I guess two spots then because we have a 10 by somewhat uh, I guess that is 10 by 17 room. We just flush them together somewhere over here. Let's see. Just replace this here with stone brick. Hmm. It's a more stone brick on our bar. Fill the holes in. Okay. I think that works. And then let's uh, yeah, just make a little sissy bar up here. Well, maybe excluding the corners so we can reach the water actually. So we can just end up pearl back when we uh, want to uh, get the water back out because it's annoying. Okay, let's see one over here, one over here. And that should flush them to these two spots here in the middle. Yeah, and I guess we can drop down, drop them down right over here. That uh, seems pretty <laughs> nice to me. And yeah, I guess I might even go and make it so they drop down in one spot. But for that, I would need an additional water source. So. 
Let's take this one, this one. Oh, I just deleted the water source. Okay, I guess uh, I'll just get two new, new buckets of water uh, then. And yeah, just let's wait. Th this would be the eighth block, so seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then over here we just place a water source so it would flush them over in this one block. I guess it works fine. And yeah, let's also reclaim this one for now and encase this all in stone brick. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's make some more stone brick. Well, I guess we're, we've had plenty, but. Okay, right over here, also I guess these here can, should be replaced. Yeah, feels a little uh, bit old school what I'm doing here, but yeah, since, uh, well, there is some ways to get strings uh, from mobs, but I actually do have a pretty cool design in mind which uh, you might or might not see, but yeah, uh, since we will need some string on short notice, uh, I just thought I'll, I'll go with the regular spawner thing for now. Okay, uh, place these as well. So. And yeah, just go with a little bit more stone rig. Whatever. I mean, it's not like it's more expensive than the regular stone. Okay. So that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this block here is actually too much. So it's this, and then pull this over in, here in. Okay. More stone brick on the bar this back in and I'm not actually sure whether they die from falling damage so uh, might want to try it out otherwise we could just drown them of course but yeah if we want to do the the XP farm well I'm not really sure about that I mean you, you would stand up there originally and then later on come back here seems kind of annoying to me but Oh well, we want to do this one. And over here we will have to drop. Okay, so we put the water source over here. And then we actually need to go back up and grab some more water. Oh, come The ladder, perfect. Okay. Let's grab some more water. Yeah, so as I said, uh, my... my Mini games are a little bit on hold, uh, working on different ones which uh, don't work for now for different reason. One involves a wolf which I cannot find. I, I've, I've tr tried recording like stupid number of times and just couldn't manage to find a wolf, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay, so this would that would be this part. And everything should be getting flushed down to this hole over here. And then we... Yeah, I guess we get back up there. I said back up there. Yeah, probably put some of the stone away. And yeah, we do need to... Uh, Make a little roof for the spawner as well, of course. Shouldn't leave this open here. So let's just stick away all these blocks for now. And I guess I also want to make a lamp setup so I can just easily uh, turn it off. 
and on without placing any torches. So for that, I think I want to have redstone lamps on the spawners themselves. Yeah, so uh, I mean, this is a spawn spot here, we, uh, but we don't want any spiders to spawn on there anyway, because yeah, they would stay in there pretty much forever. And yeah, up, up here we can already cap this because the spiders can spawn, yeah. On this Y level where the spawner is, and one above, one below, but since they're leaving one block high, uh, they will spawn there without any problems. And the, the solid blo uh, the block rule doesn't apply here. Since, I mean, they can spawn mid-air, and it wouldn't be possible with the regular mob spawning as well. So, we're good to go here, and yeah, I think I might just do something like this where I well, let's put a lamp over here. It won't be symmetrical anyway since uh, it's a 10 by 10 room or 10 by something. So this here would be 10 and the other direction 17. I said I think. Hmm. Okay, let's try to do it more here. Okay, it's an additional row of blocks. Two blocks gap, place a lamp there. And yeah, so let's just do it on this side as well. Mm, farewell. Little lamp. Farewell, farewell. And then, yeah, I think we just go in a circle, closing this off pretty much. Okay. Yeah, and then I might also want to make a little entry somewhere. Okay, and I think I'll do pretty much the same thing on the other side. Can I? Okay, I can reach that. So lamp here. Lamp here. Lamp here. And... Whoop. Yeah, from this side I should be able to... Yeah. Access this one. Oh, I didn't want a lamp there. Two. Then a lamp. Okay. Stone brick. Yeah, and then on top of that, we will just have a little cozy AFK spot. That should work just fine. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm right now leaving a little gap, but I can fill that from on top. No problem. And more storm break. Yeah, so this is pretty much done already. I mean, building a little spider farm doesn't take too long. But yeah, might, maybe we might have some issues figuring out uh, what's the best way to kill them in case we want to do the AFK XP thing as an option. You will see about that. I might even have an idea for that, but not sure right now. Okay, just continue closing this off, and yeah, I think I'll speed this up a little bit so you don't have to wait like forever, or I just make a cut here and see you right back. All right, so I've uh, pretty much finished the whole thing for now, and yeah, so I had to put in some more additional lamps in order to light it up sufficiently. We have spawner number one over here, spawner number two over here. And yeah, if we want to AFK, we just click this lever, go up here, so we are actually far enough away from the spider so they cannot 
track us and get uh, flushed down properly as desired. And yeah, uh, so when we uh, come down here after our uh, AFK session, we g can go over here. Yeah, I, I might uh, clean this up a bit more. But I guess it's fine for now. Uh, over here, yeah, as you can see, there's still a couple of spiders in here. We just don't get tracked in time. Yeah, let's just open this up and clean this up manually. Oh, look, another one. Oh, I guess that would be it. Yeah, and then they pretty much just fall down in here. This is just for maintenance. Just a little door. Makes things convenient. And yeah, finally, uh, yeah, they just drop down and die. Well, apparently not all of them die. And yeah, but most of them do. I guess when they track you while they are falling, they won't uh, die. But yeah, as you can see, pretty simple setup. Just a bunch of hoppers leading into this chest. And yeah, that's from, I don't know, half an hour or 40 minutes. So. I guess it uh, should be sufficient for now. I can probably expand this downwards. We are at Y11, so or we can just go over whatever. Really, uh, and uh, yeah, over here we just have an ender chest. So if you want to grab a, a lot of string, you can just clean your inventory, your ender chest, and then you put both the uh, ender chest in your inventory, and you can s carry uh, a bit more than the double chest. Yeah, so that sums it up for today. I'm don't really have the time to do uh, the, the uh, AFK thing where you can just store them to, uh, to get XP. Maybe I'll do that another time and uh, maybe even off camera and just show you the result. I have one or another idea about that, but yeah, we might uh, also uh, do something entirely different at some other place to, to get a spider XP farm maybe if we want to use it for string as well. The whole looting stuff and I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this episode somewhat, uh, uh, yeah, make sure to press that like button. It really helps me out a bit. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. And yeah, uh, as always, uh, I thank you guys for watching and see you next time. <coughs>